Troubled Japanese airbag maker Takata is facing new allegations of misrepresenting and manipulating test data. Car maker Honda, Takata's biggest customer, says it won't use Takata airbag inflators in new vehicles. The company is paying the price in one of the biggest auto recalls in history. More than 19 million cars with Takata airbags have been recalled in the U.S. and millions more elsewhere. This is because when moisture gets into the airbags, they sometimes explode with too much force. The problem is linked to at least eight deaths. U.S. regulators have fined Takata $70 million for providing inaccurate information about the defect. For years, Takata has built and sold defective inflators. It refused to acknowledge that they were defective. It provided incomplete, inaccurate, and misleading information to NHTSA, to the companies using its inflators, and to the public. The CEO of Takata, a family company, apologized in Tokyo on Wednesday. More lawsuits in the U.S. and elsewhere await the airbag maker. U.S. Congress members have questioned Takata's continued use of ammonium nitrate, the explosive chemical that makes airbags inflate and that can become unstable with moisture. Takata says it will stop using the chemical worldwide, but not right away. Both the company and the regulators say the ultimate cause of the defect is still unknown. Takata says it regrets the data issues raised by U.S. regulators, but doesn't believe they're connected to the current recalls. The airbag punishment is another black eye for the auto industry after Volkswagen admitted manipulating software to give false data on emissions.